today we're making a millipede a new habitat this guy was in my shop the other day and I decided I'd try to keep him for a pet and I feel bad because I had him in this jar for a couple days and we're gonna use today a Carlo Rossi bottle we're gonna cut this up and make them a nice little terrarium whatever you want to call it and we're gonna put some natural moss in there and we're gonna get some dirt from outside and make them a little habitat so let's get started welcome back to the shop we got this failed experiment I was trying to cut a uh, one of these large Carlo Rossi wine bottles uh, with a Dremel tool carefully and it's terrible it just was awful I put tape around it even to stop with the you know like ringing and uh, it just broke and and so anyways it was a fail I have been thinking more I have another video on how to do wine bottles um, and I have a new a new thought I had about this and I think it might help uh, a couple things to improve the process first thing I'm gonna do is cut the bottle like I did in my other video on this cutter basically have it set to the height I needed already you got your little glass cutter in here I'm gonna put a little oil on there and make sure it doesn't hit my label which it doesn't it comes just past the label because you can't cut through the paper it's probably not a bad idea to clamp this thing down. I like to just put a little bit of oil on there just so it doesn't get stuck. And yeah, go ahead and throw the bottle on here. I'm gonna start on one side of the label. You wanna keep this as straight and possible down as possible. And down, here we go. All right, and we made contact on the other side, which is good. My thing today is I'm trying something new. I have been using a standard iron, soldering iron, to use to follow this crack. You know, if you go back to my other video, you can see what I've been doing, but basically the other tip is, is not wide bladed like this. It's a, it's a fine point tip, so it's kind of like a pencil tip. This is a nice wider blade, and what I think I'm gonna do today, um, instead of just going straight on the crack and starting with it, is that what happens if I use a little bit of this on the crack itself as it's going to kind of help focus the heat on the line, right? So I'm gonna let that drip down that gap there. And then I'm gonna see if I can start this by pressing the wider tip of this into the line where I see the oil. And I think it might help focus the heat right where you want it. So we'll see what happens with that. It might cool it because oil does that. We will see. I know that from experience it takes a little while to get it started. And this is a pretty thick bottle. It, maybe it would like the flatter side of this. It does seem to be pushing the oil away from, yeah, you can see that right here. Hmm. Let's see, if I go from the side a little bit, at least it gives you a sort of an indication where the heat is going when you see the oil spreading. I'm gonna try using more of the soldering iron, iron to start the heated area. Yes, that's working, okay. Okay, that is working for sure. I think it might be a good idea to have the oil on there actually. It follows the line, and this keeps it from spreading too far, I think. It might keep the surrounding areas cooler. And just focus on the line. Because I've had the cracks trail off a few times and ruin a bottle, even though I'm following, you know, using the soldering iron to follow it quite well. It's slow going, but working. It does seem to like the edge rather than a very, very tip. 
Oh, there you go. That was a good one. Now we can just hopefully get that to keep trailing. There we go. It seems to want to go this way, so let's let's go the way it naturally wants to go. I don't know if you can see where it's cracking now there. You can see it's splitting from here to here. So you can see that. So I'm going to try to get that part on film when I get it to pull up. Just got to keep teasing it. Teasing it up there. Oh, there you go. That one went all the way around. This might be a very good cut. Yep, it's starting to come up. This is feeling pretty good. Come on back. I have a feeling this thing's just going to end up popping off right in my hand when I'm not really expecting it. This method I find is pretty good though. The last one I ruined even using a Dremel. I don't know how people get good results like that, but this is just seems like far less violent and you have a little more control over what's happening. I think the oil, I really do think the oil helps keep the glass cool and focus the heat where you want it. Plus hot 3-in-1 oil smells good. In my opinion. I'm just kind of laying the whole side on there, seeing what that does. It does seem to help get the, the heat faster. Just trying to watch the crack and see. Yeah, it does help. Maybe doing the whole band like this is even better. Hope you can see this happening. Try to get it from the other side angle here. It's about ready to give. I can actually feel it moving. I can see gaps of air. Yeah, it takes just a little bit of time. I think this is a good angle. It kind of helps preheat where you're going and then the tail end just focuses it to the crack there. That's a good sign. Yep, there it is. And all that's left is like from here to here. It's all that's left. So we're going to try to touch and just get these two to meet up nicely. Yep, it's coming. It's looking good. Yep, it's coming. Here we go. She's coming around. Hopefully this is all in shot.
keep the soldering iron nice and flat in this last bit to get the rest of it. Couple inches left. Oh god. It's just just hanging there. Bam. And success. That's how you do that. Nice. Yes. All right, and here we are at the completed project. I have just put some stuff in here temporarily um, to just give them a run to get them out of the other jar, but it's definitely a lot more. I got the summer squash in there. It's definitely a lot more for him to roam around and for us to be able to observe. Um, even the cat, see? But yeah, he's doing pretty good in there. I'll try to get some clips of him moving around a little bit. Um, but the, uh, you know, you can turn the bottle around with the top, with the lid. Um, it does very easily lift right off. And there you have it. So you can see the kind of edge I got. It's pretty clean. I didn't clean this up at all. It's just as, as it was when you saw me cut it. Um, so there's one little spot where when you go around, there's one little spot that kind of goes up a little. And that's how I can tell where to position it. Put it back on top. It fits perfectly. So you can actually use that little spot to turn the whole bottle so it's not sitting on its own. It's kind of got a little groove to fall into if, you, if that makes any sense. You can see it doesn't really slide off if you push back and forth or spin. Anyways, I'm not going to keep rambling about it. It is what it is. It's a cut bottle with a millipede inside and a little habitat. I think he's much happier than the small jar. He'd probably be way happier outdoors where he came from. But I wanted to explore and uh, check him out for a little while. He'll end up going back, I'm sure. But uh, for now, it's a cool little experiment. It was a fun project, and um, I'm sure there's another use for these big gallon jugs uh, other than just this. You could just fill it up with plants and make a nice little terrarium. But it's an idea, and now you know how simple it is to approach uh, this project and do it for yourself. So I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all the new views and uh, comments and any kind of input you guys have. If there's something else you want to see, Please write it down below, and uh, we'll get back to you and um, see what we can do. Let's have some fun. Find me on Facebook at Too Many Morons, on Instagram at Flea9, F-L-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. And uh, sometimes I post pre-projects before the video comes out. I show you what I've been working on before I've edited anything. So you might be, uh, might be uh, you know, cool to check that out. So go see. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>